This is a tutorial for how you create a graph on Microsoft, Microsoft Excel 2016 on a PC. First, you need to open the application, go to the Start menu, go to All Apps, scroll down to Excel, and open. You want a blank workbook. Now you're going to need to type in your data. I'm going to type in time data in the first column, position data in the second column. Whatever you type in the first column, in this case column A, will be graphed on the x-axis and the second column will be graphed on the y-axis. Now I'm ready to create a graph. I'm going to highlight my data. I'm going to go up to the top. I'm on the insert menu. I want a scatter graph. A scatter graph of points only. You can see the graph appears. Now you're going to need to format the graph. I'm going to click on Quick Layouts. And the first one will place titles where you need them. Now you need to type in the information on the given titles. I'm going to double click on the title, highlight it, and I'm going to title the graph Position versus Time. What's stated first is the quantity on the y-axis. What's stated second is the quantity on the x-axis. Likewise, for the other two axes, double-click and type. So this is position data. I'm going to put in parentheses the units, which would be meters, on the horizontal axis. Time, in parentheses, seconds. Now, I can exit out of that. I don't need that anymore. I don't need the legend, so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to delete that. Now I need to add a trend line. So I'm going to go up to Add Chart Elements, Trend Line. Brings up different options. I'm going to go down to More Trend Line Options. And looking at this, it throws a linear fit that does not meet my data very well. Okay, I'm going to try a polynomial that fits the data very, very well. I also want to show the equation on the graph. Anytime you do a graph, you need to show the equation. So I'm going to click Display Equation on Chart. And I can take this equation and I can move it to wherever I need it to be. And I out of there. Now I have a completed graph. I'm going to take this graph and I'm going to screen capture it so that I can place it in a Word document in a lab report. So I'm clicking the Snipping Tool, which you can also find from the Start menu in Accessories. And I'm going to snip the graph. Now I'm going to open up a Word document, or in your case, your lab report. And wherever you want that graph, you're going to right-click and paste that graph directly into your lab report. This is how you create a graph using Microsoft Excel 2016 on the PC. Ponder Physics.